The race to replace U.S. Senator Ben Cardin is heating up just a few days after he announced that he's not running for re-election. The latest person to jump in the race is Maryland Democratic Congressman David Trone. News Force Darcy Spencer has more on who's in and who's out. I'm David Trone, and I'm running for the Senate. Maryland Congressman David Trone is in. He announced in a video message he's running for the U.S. Senate seat Ben Cardin has held since 2006. In the video, he strikes an independent tone. I know I won't be the establishment choice, but hey, why start now? Trone, a wealthy owner of Total Wine & More, indicated he's willing to invest much of his personal fortune to win the seat, although he wouldn't say how much. He has spent more than $40 million in past runs for Congress. He spoke to me by phone this afternoon. The big thing voters really want to see is someone that doesn't take PAC money, doesn't take lobbyist money, doesn't take corporate money. And when you don't take that, be your own person. Cardin will retire from the Senate after finishing his third term. Montgomery County Council Member Will Jawando announced he'll run for the seat. Prince George's County Executive Angela Also Brooks is considering a run. Maryland Congressman Jamie Raskin is said to be a possible contender as well. Former Maryland Republican Governor Larry Hogan told News Nation he's not interested in the job. I've told most people, look, you know, thanks. I'm, I really am flattered and I appreciate the call, but it's not something I'm pursuing. Todd Everly is a political science professor at St. Mary's College. He says the Senate seat will be highly sought after on the Democratic side. It is a major event in Maryland when a seat like a Senate seat opens up and, and it results in a lot of jockeying. He says Hogan was likely the only Republican in the state who could have mounted a competitive challenge and that the Maryland electorate is much more Democratic in presidential elections. 2024 is going to be a presidential election. It's going to be likely Joe Biden versus Donald Trump. That is going to boost Democratic turnout in this state. I don't think it matters who the Republicans nominate. That nominee is probably going to top out at about 36%. Everly predicts the Trone seat in District 6 will also be a very competitive race with Democrats and Republicans lining up to run. Darcy Spencer, News 4.